who's been a leader on these issues for years. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Chairman, and thank you very much for yielding, and to our panel witnesses today, thanks very much for being here. Really appreciate it for this discussion that we're going to have today. The Energy Star program has been a win-win for consumers and manufacturers over the past 25 years. This program has proven to be a successful tool in advancing the development and use of efficient energy technologies. It has also promoted economic expansion and job growth for participating manufacturers across the nation, including many across my home state of Ohio. This hearing today is a starting point for reforming the Energy Star program. We've heard from stakeholders that reforms are needed to the Energy Star and that this draft is an opportunity to discuss those ideas. I want today to be a step in the process toward building a strong bill that shows support for this program while making the necessary changes that we need. I'm looking forward to the testimony. I hope that the engagement of these issues will not stop after today's hearing. We need to hear from all the stakeholders about reform ideas so that we can move this package forward. I have an open door policy and I hope that anyone who is interested will share their thoughts, concerns, and suggestions with me. One provision in the draft directly addresses a recent trend that has led to a chilled participation in the program. This, langu this language protects manufacturers falling out of compliance if they have complied with all corrective measures and penalties from litigation relative related to noncompliance. The draft also moves the primary responsibility of the program in the Department of Energy since the heart of this program is helping consumers make energy efficient choices. Additionally, we look at opportunities for more transparency and public engagement in the standard setting process. The Energy Star program is widely recognized by consumers and has seen major investments by the manufacturing community over the past two decades. The updates we are considering today are important for ensuring that this program remains strong. I want to again thank the committee for holding today's hearing, and I also look forward to hearing from our witnesses, and I yield back. Thanks, Mr. Chairman.